uh, real writing based on your chapter 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, findings and everything. So I will say reviewing the literature means it's never ending story. Okay, that's why I put reviewing the literature. Okay. So in this class, the, these are the things we are going to do. Okay, by using the Mendeley and the, some other tools. Okay. First is you have to organize, uh, search the articles. Okay. Before search article, you must have a research objective or question. At least you have a some assumptions or some tentative idea. What are the things you want to do? For example, the Tesla, our friend from Palestine, he said he want, he want to do about performance, strategy planning. So maybe you will start from the strategy planning and performance. So you will look for the keywords for that one. Okay. So then search for the article. I think these are the things you are doing right now. Okay. But there are some strategies you have to implement in order to get the right, accurate, and informative articles. Remember, you have to go for the right article, accurate search, accurate article, and the informative. Some articles are very informative. Okay. And even articles, uh, there are a few types of articles. Articles mean not only general articles. Okay, but most important articles are journal articles, and it should be from the referee. And if possible, not possible, uh, make it possible. Go for the Scopus, Web of Science, and some reputable index journals articles. Okay, and second is the conference proceedings, thesis, uh, and so on. Okay, then you have to organize the articles in Mendeley. So I will. I will put how you organize the articles in Mendeley. Then you can organize by using the Mendeley. Uh, you can put systematically the article, arrange. Then anytime you can open and read, you can annotate and so on. Okay. Okay. And Mendeley, if you look at the Mendeley, I think most of you already download the software. Okay. Mendeley is mostly focused for the reference manager. Okay. How to do reference? Doing references is a headache. Okay, really headache. But by using this software, you can do a lot of wonders. You can keep the article and you can do a lot of things. And some features from the Mendeley, uh, last time we have one feature, you know, very good feature, but that feature has been discontinued. I don't know why. Uh, by clicking one article, you can go for another article. But that feature has been discontinued. I emailed to them, they said they scrapped the, the system. Okay, they come up with a new system. Okay, maybe in the future. Okay. And by organizing the article, then you will go for the read and make notes. Then you read. Okay, maybe you will ask, sir, do I need to read the full article? Depend on you. Okay. But make sure you understand the article. That is very important. What are the things they are telling? What they are trying to tell? And you have to understand. Sometimes you read the article and you don't understand, you know, what they are trying to tell. But by the time you read the article, then you know, oh, these are the things they are really pinpoint. Okay. Then by reading the make notes, then you build teams to answer research. These are the articles can answer my research question, supporting materials. Okay. Then you go for the build synthesis matrices. I think Prof asked you to do synthesis matrices. Am I right? Like a table. Am I right or not? Prof asks you to do? Yes, yes. Ah, something like a table. Mind map? Mind map, sir? Yeah, mind map, mind map. Yeah, 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 two things. I don't know, we call it literature matrix. Yes, yes. yes it's in the table format. You put the author name, uh, what are the, you know, contacts, variables, Results, significant or not, something like that. Am I right? Yes, that is kind of. Ah, I mean, yes. Okay, yes. okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay, so after that, then only we start the critical literature review writing. 
So this is, these are processes. Okay, these are processes that you have to use. By using Mendeley, uh, you can organize and you search and everything, you keep it, then you can write. Okay, writing is another skill. Okay, writing is another skill. How you want to write. Okay, I think most of you, uh, when you want to write your literature or writing, maybe you refer to the, uh, you know, uh, writing banks. You know, there are some, do you know the some writing banks? Writing banks mean it's like in the PDF format. Then you can from there you can get some sentences. Do you know that? Like a quill board, No, 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 no. Quill board is for the paraphrasing. Okay. This one is uh, you know uh, wait. Uh, you should have that one. Uh, let me check. Wait there. Uh. Okay. Okay, uh... okay, we call it academic praise band. Have you heard this word? No, no doctor. Not yet, eh? okay. You can check, you know, because it can uh, far make yourself fast in terms of writing. Because sometimes, you know, you want to think about the sentences, you will, you won't uh, get the sentences. Maybe you can go to the academic praise bank. Okay, then how to write the being critical sentences. So it will give some, you know, uh, okay, when how to introduce. Okay, oh, sorry. For example, these claims have been strongly contested in recent years by a number of writers. However, something like that. So then only you can see the, the flow of the writing. So literature review, you must you should have a flow of writing. Searching is another another you know uh, another pace. After search, read, then you are writing right. That is another pace. Very, very, very important. Because sometimes you have a lot of idea, but you do not know how to write. Okay. Uh, you can download this one. You click, yeah, you click this one, Academy Praise Bank. Then uh, you can download this one. Uh, I have this one, actually now they are selling. Eh? Last time is free. Actually, I, I do have the copy. Okay, I can share with you. No worries. Okay. Okay. So basically, these are the process we are going through. Okay, we are going to look at it. Okay, look at it. Okay. Then I think you know about the literature, you know, uh, what is meant by the literature, function of the literature. Okay, I just want to mention a few things only. Okay, because I when I tell this one, then I can recall. Okay. It's very simple literature, documentation of comprehensive review. It's not a review, huh? Comprehensive review, like Prof said. If you just review, it's going to be a textbook. If you do a comprehensive review of the published and unpublished work, that is literature review for the PhD. Okay? Because when you do a PhD, remember, you are wisdom, you know, you are level of wisdom. After knowledge, you, you go through the process, wisdom level. Because PhD is philosophy doctor, Pillow, uh, love of wisdom. That's the meaning of the philosophy. Pillows and Sophia. Okay? Uh, that's the meaning. I think pillows mean uh, wisdom. I think Sophia means love. Or oh, either way. Okay? Other way around. Okay? So, love of wisdom. If you want to be a love of wisdom or wisdom think, thinker, you must have a comprehensive review. That's why Prof always mentioned this one. Go for the, you know, 
synthesis, synthesis, and synthesis. Okay. I think you know about this one. Okay. Uh, comprehensive review and everything. Okay. Uh, that's why, you know, uh, the review process never stop. You start from here, research question objective, and you define parameters. And the most important is this one generate. Okay. Generate. And three point two. This one. Okay, then only you conduct a search, then obtain a literature. Uh, so my focus is here. Okay, today. Okay, and here also generate the same process. So it's a never ending process. Okay, never ending process. And I will share this slide. Huh? Uh, this is. Pardon? Share about the sickness about with us. I if don't you, see you clearly. If you, if you can to share this slide with okay, us. Okay, I will share. Don't worry. Okay. Yeah. Uh, when you do literature search, <laughs> before you search, you must know. Okay? That's why, you know, you have to keep in mind this question. What is known about that subject? You said you want to do about continuous intention. So, what have been done about continuous intention? Okay, maybe continuous intention to use technology, continuous intention to use certain product, continuous intention to drive a car. Okay, uh, so you must know your subject matter and you have to know the gaps. I think Prof mentioned this one. Gaps in the knowledge. Is there anything missing? Okay, because that problem that you are looking for, okay, the problem statement, you are telling this problem is never end problem, an end. Okay. And you have to know, have areas of further study been identified of other researchers that may you want to consider? Okay, you may want to consider. Who are the, ah, this is the thing. Who are the significant research personalities? I will tell in your research, who are the top people? In your area, okay, by using certain tools, okay. Is there consensus about the topic? That is very important. And what aspects have generated significant debate? Is there what are the debates? Okay, what are the debates going on? Okay, for example, Amal, you mentioned about the continuous intention, right? Yes. yes okay, so. Can you tell me the debate in that continuous intention? And what continuous intention you are looking for? Excuse me, doctor. The Pardon? Debate. What did you say? Debate. You, are, you said that you are looking for the continuous intention. Yes. Are you looking for the continuous intention to use technology or continuous intention to use something else? Yeah, technology, exactly. Uh, E-learning, online teaching. Online learning. Online. Oh, okay. LMS. Okay. LMS, yes. Okay. How do you search? So you search continuous intention of online learning. That's it. Yes. Okay. That is wrong. <laughs> okay. Actually, actually, a continuous intention not just in e-learning. There are many contexts like e-banking, like uh, uh, many contexts, especially in technology. Uh, uh, my scope of research in e-learning. Okay. Uh, e-learning, you, you should understand that uh, e-learning already gone through the evolution. You should know the evolution of the research, evolution of the literature. Those days, people call it as online learning. Am I right? Yes. Then, after that, learning management system, LMS. Now, people call it as, you know, augmented okay. learning. Massive open online courses. Yes. Okay. And you know, um, what are the things? Okay. Uh, E-learning, e e electronic learning. M, M, also M learning by using smartphone. Okay. And now the trend is a mobile learning. Yes. So you have to go through all the literatures related to your context. And talking about continuous intention, that is your DV right. Continuous intention, if you search only the continuous intention, 
and how do you define it? If you search continuous intention uh, like this, let's say, okay, if you search like this, also wrong. You cannot search like this. You have to put the comma like this. Oh. Then only you will get the actual one. Otherwise, it will search continuous, it will search the intention. Anybody try like this? Yes, sometimes we do we do this sometimes. Okay. But almost without. You see. I told you right, this one. Immediately one article come up about M learning. I told you about mobile learning. This is the reason things. Okay. So you have to know there what's the meaning of the continuous intention in this article. That's why you know from the definition you have to go to operational definition. Okay. So now you understand, huh? Okay. Yes. You see, they say the best of our knowledge, mass research has been conducted considering the topic of mobile learning, adoption or acceptance. Adoption or acceptance similar. Some say no. Some say you accept but never use. They say acceptance. Some say when you accept, you are using. Yes. Okay. So you have to argue critically about this one. Um, I, I can talk about this one because this is my area of research. Okay. Okay. However, examining the continuous use. Okay. Continuous use. We are talking about continuous intention, right? Okay. So I can open this article just by clicking one button. Okay. You see how they mention it. You have to read that. Okay. You look at the literature. I go practically, yeah? Go practically. Okay. You see. They draw like this. Okay. So by looking at the model, Amal, you should understand. You should able to uh, analyze what they are trying to say. Okay. They use Amal? many theories. They use huh? the th they use three three theories: TAM and ECM and TBB. Ah, okay. This is one theory, you know. These three is one theory. Yes. Okay, and this is a different one. Okay, they agree. You see, ECM. ECM is your theory? Yes. Have you, do you find this article when you search? I think. I think. <laughs> okay, okay. I don't say during Viva, I think. Eh? Okay, yeah, yeah, sure. Because uh, in your thesis, everything is definitive. Definitive means you done the things, that's why you are telling. You said, I think I write this one. I'm not sure whether I write or not. Then you finish. They will screw you. Okay. Yes, yes, sure. You have to give provide the definitive answer. Okay. Sure, sure, doctor. Okay. So that's the thing. Okay. Yeah. So I think I answer the question of uh, Amal. You can interrupt me and ask the question, sir. Okay, no problem. Thank you, doctor. Okay. Then, uh, what methods? A problem will identify by others studying in the field and how might they impact your research by looking at the method or problem that already identified by other researchers then you know the gap okay that's why you know even gap eh, there are some uh, different type of gaps you know okay methodological gap i think you know about this one am i right Contextual gap. Yes, yes, sure, sure. Yes. Okay. Yes. Ah, I think I don't need to repeat. Okay. 
And what is the most productive methodology for your research based on the literature? Uh, that's the thing. You, you have to ask this question when you search for the article. And most important is, what is the current status of research this, in this area? Okay. I will give you some tips how to stick or how to be a glue of your research. Do you know glue? Glue means two things. Okay. You use certain material or liquid to paste something. Glue. So how you want to be, okay, how do you want to be a glue? Glue means uh, always connected. Okay, always sticking to the current research. I will show to you. But you will be headache, you know. Every day you will get a lot of articles about your research. Okay. And what source of information data were identified that might be useful for you? Okay, to you, sorry, to you. So you have to answer this question when you want to look for the uh, articles or any literature. Okay. This is the purpose, I think, uh, nothing. Why you are looking for? The purpose. Okay, the purpose. Okay. Ah. So I will show this one. Okay. I will show. By the time, you know, I go to, uh, I move to literature search by using the Mendeley and so on. Then you will understand this one. First is, of course, define the research topic. And the most important is keywords. You have to list, them, list down the keywords. Your keywords, not only one keyword, you know. Okay, for example, perceived use of use. Ease of use. Easiness. Everything is the same meaning. That's why, you know, you have to use the different keywords. Okay. And you must know the source of information, where to get it. Which database, which website I need to get the information. Then after you get all of this, download the article, then you start to read. And analyze all the works. Analyze all the works mean what have been done by the people. Okay. Then you must discuss findings and conclusion with others. It means what they have mentioned by criticize or by review what have been done by others, then you can see the gap. Okay? You can see the gap. Maybe incon inconclusive findings. People are doing the research, some significant, some not significant. Okay? Um, inconclusive findings. That is one of the gap actually. Okay? But you have to critically discuss. Okay? Divide works into supportive and anti- Critical position. Okay. Anti critical position. You have to be support. Okay. You have to say this one like this, this one like that. And you have to anti critical. Anti critical means you have to criticize. Okay. And identify the relationship between works in the literature, the past relationship. That's why you know you have to come up with the literature matrix. Then only you must know how to articulate in your research process. Okay. Uh, okay. This one is nothing. Okay. First is get familiar with your topic. Okay. As I mentioned earlier. And keywords. You have to list down the keywords, you know. For example, uh, uh, I list down my keywords like this. Okay. I can show to you my keywords. Last time when I do my PhD, I don't know whether it's still in the, my box or not. Uh, my PhD. Let me check. Sorry. Uh, where is my PhD? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. I, I know, you know, you have to keep in a very uh, proper area, you know, otherwise you will lose your thesis. Okay. Let me check because I put it here. Okay. Oh, I put here. This is my training mode, a uh, training. Uh, okay. This is my training. So my PhD, I have a separate folder. I put in Dropbox. Okay, you see, everything I keep here. Okay. okay. So, this is the thing. So, I keep my... Okay. Uh, 
but i did some crazy things as well okay i, I did my cra some crazy things uh Okay, wait. Uh, I put it somewhere here. <laughs> Did not revisit the things, okay? Um, that is one specific folder, you know. Uh, let me check, eh? Okay. Um, for example, like this. Okay. My prominent authors. So I I have a list of the prominent authors. This is the sum of the prominent authors. So I put all the prominent authors and also I put all the keywords here. Okay, some of the keywords. I have another Excel, lot of keywords over there. Okay, this is a simple one. Then I collect all the framework journals. Okay, I look at the journals. Okay, then I check one by one because I want to get the quick view about this one. So, so I will get some ideas. Sorry, yeah, uh, you don't see the screen. Yeah, okay. okay. For example, uh, these are some frameworks, yeah. Uh, I some check, even I check some frameworks. Okay, when I did the literature, I put the framework because I can re quickly record. Okay, you have to understand eh? the framework is a, a snapshot of your research. Abstract is a, a short summary of your research. Title is a two line of your research. Okay, that's why you know. People will look at your models. Okay. So these are some strategies you can do. There is no right and wrong way. You can do a lot of things. Okay. So I can put the literature review. Then I can I put it. Okay. Okay. So you can do that. And finally, you have to create a search strategy. Then when you search, you have to know. Okay. For example. Pollution and or contamination. Sometimes you can use the and pollution and Malaysia. Or sometimes you can put and concept or or concept. Later I will show to you how does it work. Okay. Then uh, these are the main thing you should include in your literature. Summarize, don't just summarize, synthesize. That's the thing. Okay. Critique and compare. Task you have to do in your literature. You don't simply take uh, this one, say that one, this one, say, this man said that one, this one, that one, this one, that one, then suddenly nothing. Okay. So you have to say, okay, criticize, okay, or synthesize. Critique. Okay. So I will go all of this. Where you can get. Some people say, do I need to put all the journals? Not necessarily. But make sure you your thesis contains more than 95% journals, okay, which is reputable journals. If possible, 70% reputable journals. Especially problem statement. Don't argue or don't write a problem statement with the less reputable journal citation. Okay, it's not strong enough. If these are some tips and tricks when you write a problem statement. When you say this is a problem. Who said? Who are you referring to? Maybe you are referring to the top guru. 
then you are a bit, little bit safe. Okay. You can check, you know, dissertation, bibliography, map, indexes, and so on. But normally, you go for the journals, books, and so on. For, for example, definition, eh? mostly definition come from the books, also from the journals. Okay. Okay. So, I think you know about this one. Why we are doing the literature. Reason for reviewing the literature, informing yourself what is happening in the field. You are reading. Oh, this one already done. This one they have done. This is conclusive ready. It's not in, uh, in, inconclusive. Then your purpose is informing your audience what happening in the field. Okay, what is happening in the field? You are telling, oh, this is inconclusive. I want to research. So these are the things. This is the result you are telling. And also gaining level of topical and also methodological knowledge and expertise. That is review. What have been done? Okay. Then now you go to the purpose, your purpose, and so on. And the most important is the potential gap. In the literature, may point to potential research questions. By knowing the gaps, then you are building the research question or vice versa. Okay. And so on. Okay. I think you are required to prepare something like this. Am I right? Yes, Am I right or not? Yes, yes, sir, yes. yes you're right. Yes. <laughs> From asking to come out with the author, year, journal, dependent variable, and so on. Am I right? Okay. Uh, that's why, you know, first, okay, again, eh, I, in, this is very uh, detailed. Eh? Search for re relevant literature, your topic, research problem, come up with the relevant keyword. Then only you start search steps. Okay. I think by now, I think most of you with a lot of keywords, am I right? Yes. Right? Are you with keywords or are you still in the, you know, live in Lipo? You know, live in Lipo? Uh, somebody put you yourself, you know, or dump you in the dark side, dark area. You do not know where I'm heading to. Okay. It's common actually. It's common. No worries. The more you confuse, better. Okay? It's better. <laughs> okay. So you can find the literature search from Google Scholar, JSTOR, AppScor, uh, Scopus.com and so on. But remember, Scopus.com not to find out the article. Scopus.com is a bibliographic database. You only can see the abstracts. Is there anyone download uh, article from Scopus? If anyone say, you go, go to Scopus, download all the article from Scopus.com. Uh, don't listen to that person. Eh? Something wrong. You cannot download article from Scopus.com. Scopus.com is an index database. Okay. Index database just provide the abstracts only. Okay, then you can see a lot of things over there, not the articles. Article, you have to go to Science Direct, Google Scholar, JSTOR, or Web of Science, and so on. Okay. But unfortunately, most of the article you can't download. Am I right? Yes, yeah, this is the problem, the main problem, Dipta. Okay, I think <laughs> I will solve yeah, your problem. Yeah. Pardon? Pardon, Zaman? If you have click about this, uh, this download. Okay. 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 So how, how many, how many of you got this problem in your? Okay, I think you, you can see in the you know uh, webex. Uh, there is one button, you know, like an icon. Just click there and you raise your hand, like this, like this. Then I can see how many of you are finding or facing a problem, uh, getting the articles. Just. Uh, site, who else? There is no problem finding article. You get everything. Zaman? <laughs> you can put any icon. Because I'm going to be, uh, I'm going to solve your problem. Don't worry. Okay, I see. I think most of you are having a problem uh, to get the article, get the PCs, and so on. Okay? No worries. We will have.
session for only of them. Pardon? We, we have session for those. We have session for those who raise up their hand only. We have session for those who raise up their hand only. I don't get clearly, bro, the message. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. 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 So, uh, so I try to uh, sort out your problem. Okay. So, these are the places uh, you can get the articles. Okay. And Boolean search, that is uh, another tactic you have to use. Otherwise, why I'm telling this one? Otherwise, you waste your time by looking for the article which is unnecessary. Okay. And read abstract. Don't straight away read the article. Some people read the introduction. Some people read the methodology. Don't read the abstract. Okay. And you have to check the bibliography, the references for more sources. Because that article already cites something. So you can go for that one. Okay. And evaluate and select the sources. You have to evaluate. Okay, by time, by the time you you will know all of this. Okay, taking notes. Okay, author name. I think uh, you have to prepare your literature metric. Then you know this one. Okay, then only you have to see the trends in the literature over the time. Don't worry, I will show the trends. Whether your research is researchable or not researchable, I will show the trend. Okay, trend of your research. Okay, and key things. Key themes mean keywords. What are the themes? Can and you have, pardon? Can you share the screen? Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. Now you can see, yeah? Okay, sorry. Yes. Okay. So these are the things, okay? Um. Wait, uh, okay. You have to identify, or we call it, uh, you know, look for the themes, debates, and gaps. By knowing the themes, by knowing the debate, debates mean what have been told by the people, what have been told by the people. Okay. For example, you know, those days, okay, uh, when they said, when they talk about technology, uh, they don't. You know, uh, they never bother about the easiness of use the technology, how friendly the system. They don't bother. As long as you can provide the technology, you force the people to use the technology because no choice. But nowadays, we have a lot of technologies. If you don't want technology one, you can go to technology two. If you don't want technology two, you can go to technology three. So the focus is perceived ease of use. Uh, then you can search for the gaps also. This is the practical things. Okay. okay. Then you have to go for the trend gaps. Okay. Then outline your structure. Okay. Organized by the time. When it was started. Okay. If you talk about technology adoption, the research started 1930s, you know. 1930s. I have one literature. I, I think I wrote it my this is okay and the technology adoption actually uh, was started in the uh, agriculture industry okay then you can organize by team organize by methodology and organize by theoretical approach what are the approaches then you go for the step five okay then only you write the literature okay there are three things. Introduction, analyze the literature is your body and conclusion. What is your summarized key findings? This is called so-called, I think Prof mentioned about this one, uh, synthesize. Okay. Uh, this one is nothing. Okay. This one, uh, the body, yeah, the body, what you should include and all of this. There is no right and wrong. Yeah? There is no hard rules, rules of thumb. Okay. The conclusion, you see, the standalone literature review, discuss the overall implication, make suggestions. This is normally in the chapter five, okay? And dissertation, thesis, or research paper, okay? 
Okay. These are the material that I can show to you about the retail chair. So you know the process. include everyone but i will say 70 percent you have to include because uh, by the time you're looking for the literature definitely you will uh, look at some top authors okay but no worries okay no worries um, um i i will show to you some of the top authors in your area by the by searching the keywords okay by searching the keyword even you know if you go to this one for example eh, uh, let me show to you something just now who asking asikin eh? yeah shikin shikin uh, shikin, eh? shikin for example answering your question eh? okay very simple google scholar is a main culprit of the literature <laughs> your support is a sorry your examiner can search in the google scholar before come to my wow, your examiner for the defense or wherever they can search in the uh, google scholar you know people definitely people will go for google scholar to search the article that is the first attempt for example in malaysia you know if you ask them to buy the toothbrush definitely they will go and buy the colgate unless you specifically mention please buy the colgate in malaysia you know huh? But the brand is Darli. Malaysia is a very weird country, okay? Because of the brand. Because these top authors are brand of the research. Brand of the research. For example, you're writing about quantum physics, but you missed the article from Albert Einstein. Those days article, you finish. Because he is the father of the quantum physics. You forget about the father. You're talking about the kids. Come on, okay? Okay, for example, Google Scholar, you go to Google Scholar, right? Okay, very simple. Eh? Let me show to you. Uh, do you see my screen? I didn't see my screen. Eh? Okay. Yes, we see it. Yes, we see it. Okay, for example, uh, let's say continuous intention. Eh? Okay. Look at how I search. Yeah? I don't use, I use the apost, you know, the comma. Okay. You see, there is a difference between continuous intention and continuous inten intention to use. Slightly different, huh? maybe same. Okay. You see? So you can sort by date and everything, right? Okay. Then let's say you are okay. You click this this guy, okay, Mama Ali Emran, okay, this guy. Let's say, okay, 
okay one of the highly cited let's say this is a blind search only okay blindly we search is published in the computer in human behavior wait huh? Is this article, eh? Uh, competent be human behavior. This article is a good article, eh? Good article. Okay. By looking at the, let's say, technology acceptance, you click this one, then you know who was the top author. Can you see this one? Who is Davis? Anyone know, know the Davis? Yes, I know. Amar, who is the Davis? <laughs> he has the, the theory of technology acceptance. Ah, top model. But he doesn't right? have picture. Yes. Pardon? Doesn't have picture. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this guy is a top guru, and this guy is a supervisor of the Visunat Venkates. Okay. So by looking this one, you know educational technology. Okay. Uh, you are doing about the educational technology, right? Have you crossed or have you found any article about this guy, Joy J. Lee? Yes, 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 Lee. Lee he's talking about e learning, especially. Okay. That's why, you know, I always mention this one. The main culprit is Google Scholar. Google Scholar will tell you, you know, who is the top authors, you know, top researchers by looking at the uh, terms. Okay. Or you want to know about uh, another term, let's say uh, performance. Okay, let's say yeah, organizational performance. Okay, let's see. You have to separate that. Eh? Ah, sometimes you have to separate, then only you will get the things. Okay. Then you see this guy, Stephen Wood. Maybe it's, but this is not 100% correct. Because maybe some professors, they don't have a Google Scholar, they don't bother. Who knows? Okay. When you talk about service quality, let's say we go for the service quality, yeah? Let's say we search like this. It won't search. Okay. You have to put under score. You see, this guy. Barry, Parasuraman, this guy will, you know, these people will come out. Okay. But maybe this guy, it's not a top author of service quality. This guy come out maybe because of the service innovation. Okay. But this guy put the service quality as a one of the keyword for him. This is, we call it brand, personal branding of the professors. You click this guy. Okay. One article 57,000. Huh? Okay, he's a top guru. His people, okay. Now, you know, anybody search like this? This is the first time, actually. Very first interesting, time. yeah. Okay, so that's why you know, this is what this is just a, this is just a trailer. You will see the full movie. Uh, you have to wait until 6 45 or 7 o'clock. Then you will watch a full movie. This is just a trailer. Okay. Doctor, excuse me. Yeah. All the all those tips are, I mean, the very important tips, which of course facilitate our life and make it very easy to to, to get the the, the, the right uh, direction or the right result that we would like to. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, do you have a summary for them? I mean, those tips. Or uh, just practical things that you learn or skills you get from your 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 your, your experience. Ah, okay. Before that, eh, I proudly say I am a GOT student. You know, GOT. Do you know what 